Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris, Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans. We got some real bad news right now. I'm seeing flashbacks of every single crummy movie we've gotten since the 2006 Texas Chainsaw The Beginning. That's the last good one. But what we're gonna be diving into here is an update on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot that is currently in the works that just hit a big bump in the road that it's like, I don't know if this movie's gonna be any good now. I'm gonna need your guys' opinions down below after you hear everything concerning this story. How do you feel about it? Do you still have faith in this Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot? Why can't Leatherface just get a break, man? These other guys have gotten a break. And also, don't be forgetting to hit that like button if, you know what, you're still gonna be there opening weekend. I know I am. All right, so just to give you a quick summary, if you haven't heard already, yes, they are planning to give us a brand new Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot. I've done a couple videos in the past talking about it because I'm a big hard geek and good old Leatherface is one of those movies I really enjoy from time to time. When the project was first announced, it sounded like it was sure to be a great thing because we had producer Fed Alvarez involved. And if you didn't know, he's made movies like Don't Breathe and the Evil Dead remake. The story is said to be sort of a semi sequel, but working as a reboot for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre a lot in the ways Halloween 2018 was where yes it'll keep in line the continuity of the 1974 original Texas Chainsaw Massacre and this new movie will serve sort of as a sequel slash relaunch for the character of Leatherface. Leatherface in this movie was also described to be in his 60s we were gonna get a much older version of Leatherface than we were used to. From the descriptions that have leaked online Leatherface is additionally described as complex. He is also listed as a non-speaker role. He primarily expresses himself through through gruntle noises that range from a howling belly to a pig-like squeal. His time is spent inside watching TV, which is something that triggers his laughter. It's also revealed that he shields his face in an effort to avoid pictures being taken. As for the plot and what will revolve around Old Man Leatherface is the story of the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot looks to follow two sisters, currently listed as Melody and Driama. The older sister, Melody, is 25 years old, San Francisco moneymaker, who drags her younger teenage sister with her to tell Texas on a business trip out of fear of leaving her alone in the city. It's also said that the younger sister will be wheelchair bound as a reference or callback to the very first Texas Chainsaw Massacre having a wheelchair bound character. The directors involved, although I wasn't too familiar with their work, their resume said that they were fit for the job. Andy and Ryan Towhill, two brothers who directed a movie entitled The Dig that was well received by both critics and audiences. But just yesterday, we got the horrible news that after one week of filming this movie, they have let go of the directors and are also going to start completely from scratch. Deadline here has it reported, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Bloodbath directors chopped along with early scenes as pick shuts one week in and David Blue Garcia takes reign. Now right off the bat when I heard this, it was going around saying that the directors of this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot have left the project due to creative differences. Whenever you hear something like that in the industry, it can mean one to a million things of why they decided to leave the project. My first reaction was, what? Okay, I don't want to panic, but now my excitement for this movie went down. Nothing against the new director, just creative differences lets me know the studio is the one making the movie, not so much a director. And what I mean by that is that this happens all the time, especially with horror movies, that studios and the guys in the big business suits come up and go, we don't like your movie being made this way. We want it to change. And that's even more confusing to us fans following the news of this Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot because like you had all this time, they were announced as the directors since the beginning of this year and then several months later, you guys were so far from communication that when cameras started rolling, you just disagreed with what was happening. But even though that was my immediate reaction after reading some more details of why the directors left over these creative differences, Maybe it was a good sign. Deadline here reports, sources said the abrupt change was made over the last 48 hours because the financier legendary didn't speak to what it saw. So Garcia will be reshooting from scratch. The film returns to the roots of Hooper and Kim Hinkle, creation that was considered one of the scariest films of its era. So these two brothers who were on board shot a week's worth of footage for the movie, got pretty much ahead. With a week's worth, you can get a lot done, especially for something like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre that doesn't involve a lot of visual effects or insane stunt work, mostly just running away from a chainsaw. But it looks like the studio was looking at that week's worth of footage and the movie was just not turning out at all what they were expecting it to be, leading to the creative differences of like, you know what, we thought you guys were fit for the job, 
we're gonna let you go for somebody else. I'm trying to look on the bright side of this and maybe the studio was trying to dodge a bullet if they were watching something they were really hoping to be a big splash in the horror industry turn out to be really bad, so much so that they were willing to change directors in the middle of shooting their movie. Now like I said, I have nothing against this new director that they have attached. If anything, he's on my good side because he started off in Dallas, Texas, the same place I call home. But looking at the two resumes, man, I, I just don't see how this is an improvement or this will work out better. It just really feels to me like this is a younger, less experienced director that the studio can easily mold and whip into shape of like, we want the movie done this way and you better do it, pony boy. The last film he did was entitled Bloodfest, which I have not seen, but some of y'all were telling me it's a fun movie while others were telling me it's not fun at all. I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The last two great Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies that we got, I believe, are the 2003 remake and the 2006 prequel. It still blows my mind how hated those movies were by both critics and audiences at that time when I'm like, that's the best interpretation of Leatherface that we've ever gotten on screen and I will defend those movies to the end of time. So maybe the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of those characters that was only done well once and that they've been trying to hit that same magic every time with a new reboot, new timeline, new prequels. And maybe that goes to why we rarely get slasher movies anymore in theaters. Just because there's only so much you can do with one human bad guy holding a knife or a weapon chasing after somebody. The funny thing is though, Leatherface is one of those guys who never had a ridiculous movie. Okay, maybe Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 was pretty ridiculous as they come, but a lot of these guys have made it to space. I mean, Jason X, old Pinhead has been a space the leprechaun has been a space you know what get him out of texas put the texas chainsaw massacre somewhere where we wouldn't expect him to be froze him and i set it in the future throw him into space does a chainsaw work on the moon i'd like to find out the only new thing about this version of the texas chainsaw massacre was that he was going to be old that he was going to be a bitter down old man going after these people which i guess is terrifying in a sense just this hulking presence of an old man with a chainsaw who laughs like a pig chasing you but after you do that then what's the sequel about did he jump into a lazarus pit and get young again i just gotta hope that this interpretation is gonna be miles better than texas chainsaw 3d there's no way it can get that worse again aside from that in this article they did let us know some of the cast members that i was not aware of the only one that stands out to me that i'm familiar with is isla fisher she was in the movie eighth grade that hey i highly recommend real fun watch the other characters we have here uh sarah yarkin jacob Lattimore, and mo dunford these are going to be be your main leading stars for this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot. So I want to hear from you guys with hearing about these creative differences. Do you think the studio was trying to do what was good for the fans or do you think no this movie's not going to turn out well at all? Anything and everything go ahead and leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always I'm Chris. Take care.